Ever feel like you've missed out on some of the most crucial moments in the sport of track and field? Since there's been so many, it's challenging to find them all or even remember every single one. Today we're bringing 10 of the top finishes to happen at any track event ever. Up first, we got Jim Ryan's shocking feat in the last lap of the 1500 meter race at a USA vs Germany dual meet in August of 1967. Astonishing both the race participants and spectators alike, he ran away in the final 300 meters in 36.4 seconds, which landed him to a 338.2 time for the entire race, approximately translating to a 355 mile. German papers reported Ryan's time for the final 300 as a 36.4 to 36.5 seconds time or about 48.5 second pace for the full 400 meters. The reported time for Ryan's final lap was 50.6 seconds, but some evidence suggests that the timers were so stunned by the last lap that they added an extra second to make Ryan seem less superhuman, and his true time was actually sub 50. Huge shout out to Corey for suggesting this next run in the comments section of our recent top 10 sprint finishes of 2022 video. At the 1988 Olympics, the women's 4x100 meter relay was a race for the ages. The American team was trailing the East German and Soviet teams with a legendary Flojo at third leg handing off to the anchor. However, thanks to the incredible speed of their anchor, Evelyn Ashford, the American track icon before Flojo came into town, the Americans were able to catch up and take the gold medal in the 4x100m Olympic final. Billy Mills, an underdog and a complete unknown to the Olympic world, shocked everyone at the Tokyo 1964 Olympic Games when he crossed the finish line of the 10,000m race first. It was a victory no one had seen coming, as the race had been predicted to be between the defending 5,000m champion, 10,000m champion, and the world record holder, which at the time was Murray Halbert, Peter Bolotnikov, and Ron Clark respectively. However, as the race progressed, it became clear that Clark was the only one in contention, accompanied by Muhammad Kamudi and the American Billy Mills. Mills had been so overlooked that no reporter had thought to ask him a question before the race, but by the end of it, he had etched his name into Olympic history with one of the most remarkable upsets ever seen at any games. Coming in at fourth today, we have Bobby Hayes at the Tokyo 1964 100 meter race where he unleashed a burst of speed at the 40 meter mark, quickly creating a 1 meter gap between himself and the rest of the field. He continued to relentlessly power forward, maintaining his lead and leaving his competitors far behind. By the time the 100 meter final arrived, Hayes had secured victory with a .19 second margin, tying the world record with his feet. At the 1986 Commonwealth Games, Steve Cram at the peak of his powers raced in the 800 meter men's race and achieved the fastest time of the year in 143.22. After a strong start, he increased his pace to complete the final 600 meters in 1 minute and 18 seconds before pushing even further and crossing the finish line in an impressive 24 seconds over the last 200 meters. Just in this clip here, we've seen him pass the top two runners without any challenge from them whatsoever. Up next is another 800 meter race except a lot more packed up front. Here, Paul Orang of Kenya was able to run an intelligent and strategic finish to take home the gold medal in the 800 meter men's final during the 1988 Olympics. He ran with a calculated grace, gradually increasing his pace until he crossed the finish line in first place, with a time of 1.43.45. Mesra Defar, with a last second burst of speed, dashed Tirunesh Dibaba's hopes of claiming a share of $1 million at the gold league jackpot at the 2006 Berlin ISTAF 5000 meter. Defar's sprint to the finish, leaving Dibaba behind her, secured her win and denied Dibaba's opportunity to add to her already impressive resume as well as money in the bank. Andrew Lloyd's incredible win at the 1990 Auckland Commonwealth Games men's 5000m event was won for the ages. After a grueling start to the race, the crowd watched with anticipation as Lloyd inched closer and closer to the finish line over the final lap. After 13 minutes and 24 seconds of continuous effort and determination, Lloyd crossed the finish line in first place and was awarded the gold medal for the 5000 meter event, a moment that will be remembered for years to come as he chased down the leader with such a big gap. At the 1971 Helsinki European Championships, Juha Vatanen went on to win both the 10,000 and 5,000 meter events. Here we have his duel for the 10k title. 
going nearly neck and neck with a competitor for almost 400 meters. This is one of the more intense ones on today's list as both men were battling it out with everything until the very end. With the 2004 Athens Olympics 1500 meter race nearing its end, Hicham El Garouj seemed determined to secure the gold medal. With a huge surge of energy, he pushed past his competitors, his strides becoming longer and more powerful as he neared the finish line. A few seconds from the end, he gave one final burst of energy and kicked forward, crossing the finish line with first place and clinching the gold medal with an impressive last second effort. Today we're ending off at the 2011 IAAF Track and Field World Championships in Daegu, South Korea where Ezekiel Kemboy successfully defended his 3000m steeplechase title with a powerful final lap. This is one of those finishes you just don't get to see every day. As he crossed the finish line, the crowd erupted in cheers and the champion celebrated with a victory dance. His triumphant celebration was a fitting end to the race that he controlled from start to finish. If you made it all the way here until the end, I appreciate you so very much. I have a quick question for you all. I got a couple mics by coincidence and I want to see which one you guys prefer. So here is mic one. Welcome to another episode of Runners to You. Here we are talking on mic number one. Let me know how you guys think about it. Welcome to another episode of Runners to You. Here we are on mic number two. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, mic number one as we were just playing or here now with mic number two. This whole video was shot with mic number one. We are talking now on mic number two. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, please. And thank you so much for watching today's video.